So we're going to start with a back squat variation. We're going to go through all three of them. Now, just so that you guys know, if ever someone here comes and pays me for a one-on-one -on -one session, this is how I'm going to do it. Show me how you squat. I'm not going to specify, like today we're going to go through all three of them. I'm not going to specify which one I want her to do. So she's gone to what squat variation is this? That's a low bar squat, fantastic. <clears throat> she stands in her comfortable stance. Okay, this is her comfortable grip. She's looking straight ahead. She's got that knee position, that external rotation at the femur that we discussed. So it's externally rotating. She's spreading the floor, pushing outwards, outwards pressure on the feet. She's squatting as deep as her mobility allows while still maintaining a neutral pelvis in that bottom position and therefore a neutral spine. And that'll do, fantastic. <clears throat> okay, so if this was a paid session, if this was a client that came to me and I was witnessing her squat for the very first time, that's how I would ask her. I would say, just sh show me your squat. Okay, if she did a high bar squat, I would work the session with a high, <laughs> if it looked good, I would work the session with a high bar squat. Okay, not everyone needs to do a low bar or a high bar or a front squat. They're all great tools. And in my opinion, if you have the ability to perform all of them, I think that they have a place to perform all of them at some point in your periodized plan. Now she's going to do a high bar squat. Where's the barbell sit? Upper traps. Okay, the traps come down to here. Okay, upper trapezius. Where's her hands? They're pretty close. For her, it's just outside of her shoulders. Okay, the cue that I use is as close as shoulder mobility allows. Where's she looking? Straight ahead. Where's her stance? Outside of her shoulder width. Toes? Pointed very slightly outwards. Okay. She takes a big breath and lowers that weight under control. She doesn't just dive bomb that weight. Okay, she lowers that weight under control. She initiates the movement by spreading the floor, pushing the knees out in the same direction as her toes, opening her hips, giving her pelvis room to be able to achieve that bottom position and remain neutral. And then she stands with intent. Okay, when I tell people control, a lot of times they control down and they control up. That's not exactly what I want. Okay, on the flip side of that, a lot of people attempt to be too explosive. That's also not what I want. Okay, so the cue that I give, you guys can use it, is to stand with intent. Okay, like you're standing out of a chair. Okay, you want to jump out of a chair. A lot of people want to show that they're explosive. Um, in, in the strength world, there's a lot of sayings going around, if you're not training to be fast, you're training to be slow. In other words, you don't want that. Okay, but actually, I, I believe that's incorrect. Okay, and a lot of the times if you're working towards speed and prioritizing speed over technique, that's when things are going to go wrong. Okay, so standing with intent.